Hey everyone, this is Flea, your Lightroom instructor here with another Adobe update. Uh, this is the addition of adaptive presets in your preset menu. So I'm here in the develop mode. I've got my presets menu open here on the left. And if you look up on the top, you will see um, that you have adaptive portrait, adaptive sky and adaptive subject. What do these mean? Okay, so these are just applying presets, the same kind of presets that you're used to, where you can go back in and edit to change your settings after the fact, um, but where you're applying a pretty general edit to multiple images or just one image, but on the click of a button. Um, how are they different? They're different because they are taking advantage of the new AI features in, um, in Lightroom to add local adjustments that are going to sync across and adjust themselves as they do that. That sounds really complicated. What does that mean? Let's dive in. We're going to start with adaptive sky. So if you look here on the right hand side, I also have our masks open. That's going to matter in a second when we apply a preset. So I'm looking at this, I think, ooh, how cool. It's a pretty nice tropical area. I also see a, a preset called Neon Tropics, which sounds fun. So I'm going to click it. It's going to apply this Neon Tropics. If you look here, it created a mask of the sky. I can adjust the mask. I can adjust the preset. I can apply this to the next image and it will say, oh, we shifted the camera a little bit. We're going to shift the mask to match, which is really fantastic that it can just look for the sky, not this specific sky. Let's try that out with one more. Um, we're going to do another sky. I'm taking another guess and I'm going to choose storm clouds. Now this one maybe got a little heavy handed, so I might decide that I want to click on my mask and um, I don't know, maybe open up the shadows didn't do that much. Let's try opening up the blacks. That takes care of some of this darkness in the corner, but still gives me a really nice stormy looking sky. Now, if we move into the adaptive portrait, very similar concept. However, you can build on things, which is really cool. So if I wanted to enhance eyes on my baby, I don't know if you noticed that, but it was very subtle. It just brightened up the whites and also added a little color. Now I'm going to try something wild here. I'm going to use a gritty portrait. Uh, what that does is it like brings out all the texture in the image. So this is really great if you're doing like older folks that you want them to look like chiseled and wise. It's not great if you're trying to make a beauty portrait. Um, but in this case, I've gone ahead and I've added uh, some <laughs> something to my baby there. Um, we're going to move on to a client. What you might want to do with a client is add a glamour portrait. So this is going to soften her skin. It's probably going to um, darken down her lips. This is maybe a little bit more than she would want. So I might back my edits off. Now it didn't do anything or not much with her teeth. So I may still get in there and whiten her teeth on top of things. It maybe did some, maybe it didn't do enough, your choice. Maybe I'll add some texture to her hair. All these things are subtle. You can roll over each thing and see them happening one by one and decide what you like. Lastly, we have our um, select subject, same idea here. It's going to just use the AI to select just your subject, and then you can apply um, a little bit of a preset to it. You can also build your own adaptive presets, just as you could build a normal preset. All right, that's it. Have fun with these.